Hi friends, welcome back to Ignited Mercy. Last Saturday we were talking about giving Jesus just a small window so he can pick and then he will just come right through, rushing in. We were reading that he was anxious to help you, anxious to help me, and he just needed a little bit of an opening to come rushing through and just pour out all of his graces onto us. Now today I have entry uh, 294. It's an entry that I particularly like because if you know anything about me, I am always falling short. I am always being bitten by either laziness or doing things last minute or procrastinating. That's one of my biggest cross. If you dare to share it, leave in the comments what's your biggest um, cross. What's, what's the thing you're fighting against to be able to become the same that you ought to become? So entry 292. When a soul loves God sincerely, it ought not fear anything in the spiritual life. So when a soul loves God sincerely, there's nothing it should fear in the spiritual life. And of course there are a lot of things that I am um, worried about in the spiritual life, right? Especially, and I imagine it will be the same with a lot of you guys, um, when I know I'm not the best of me, when I know I'm not giving all that I can give, when I know I'm not pushing through as much as I know I could for the good of my family or the people I serve, uh, I'm afraid that I'm allowing the other one to take more space and to push his, his way into my life. But then I read an entry like this and I'm so happy because Faustina says that when a soul loves God sincerely, there's nothing to fear. And I love the word sincerely and it, it encourages me because if it had said when a soul loves God completely, I would have probably not qualified there. If she has said when a, when a soul loves God in a holy way, right, with holiness, I would have been out right there too. <laughs> if it said if a soul loves God um, entirely or intensively, or with with all its might and power I mean any other word that I try to find and and change it instead of sincerely I think I would have not qualified for the second part of you know this soul should not fear anything in the spiritual life but because Faustina guided by the Holy Spirit of course probably knew that I needed that word and that you were going to be reading this entry too. She said sincerely, that's all we need. And then no fear. Nothing can win against us if we love the Lord sincerely. So if you don't love him perfectly yet, if you don't love him pure, uh, with pureness yet, that's fine. If you don't love him above everything else in your life yet, that's fine. We have nothing to fear because as we said last Saturday, he's anxious, he's waiting, he's longing for us. So let's try our hardest each day, even when we fall, let's get right back up and love the Lord sincerely. He will do the rest. Now have a wonderful day and I'll see you next Saturday.